Hello dear students, a warm welcome to Swayam Prabha channel. Today we are going to discuss the topic job evaluation. I am Dr. Naushad Ali, working as a professor in the department of library and information science at Aligarh Muslim University, Aligarh. The objective behind today's discussion is to create an overall view of job evaluation, its importance characteristics, objectives, process and methods involved in job evaluation. Job evaluation is playing an important role in human resource management of library and information centers. After being hired for the position, the ideal candidate must receive fair pay for the work they do. There should be developed a consistent and systematic relationship among the base compensation rates for all their jobs within the companies in the pursuit of equal payment. The procedure in such a setting is known as job evaluation. In order to compensate employees fairly and create an equitable wage and salary uh, structure of the company, various jobs must be appraised in order to determine their relative worth. This is essential for maintaining friendly relationship among employees and between the company and employees. Therefore, understanding the nuances of job evaluation is necessary in contemporary library environment. Now let us discuss meaning and definition of job evaluation. According to Dickenzo Robinson, job evaluation is using the information in job analysis to systematically determine the value of each job in relation to all jobs within the organization. It seeks to rank all the jobs and place them in a hierarchy that will reflect the relative worth of each. Another definition given by Kinball and Kimball, job evaluation represent an effort to determine the relative value of every job in a planet to determine what the fair base wage for each job should be. In another context, Michael Armstrong defined job evaluation is a systematic process for defining the relative worth or size of job within an organization in order to establish internal relatives. The International Labour Organization defines job evaluation as an attempt to determine and compare demands which the normal performance of a particular job makes on normal workers without taking into account the individual abilities or performance of the workers concerned. Now let us see some advantages of job evaluation. Job evaluation is a process which is helpful for even for framing compensation plans by the personal manager. Job evaluation as a process is advantageous to a company in many ways. It helps in selection of employees. When choosing candidate, the information on the job evaluation may be useful. When choosing personnel, the criteria established for job appraisal may be taken in, into consideration. Maintain harmonious relationship between employees and manager. Through job evaluation, harmonious and congenial relationship can be maintained 
between employees and management so that all kinds of salaries controversies can be minimized. Reduction in inequalities in salary structure, it has been discovered that people's motivation and level of pay are related. Therefore, the primary goal of job evaluation is to establish external and internal consistency in the pay scale in order to lessen pay disparities. Specialization due to the division of labor and the resulting specialization, many business have hundreds of occupations that require several workers to complete. Consequently, an effort should be made to define a position and afterwards set compensation for it. The only way to achieve this is by evaluating your work. Relevance of new jobs. Through job evaluation, one can understand the relative value of nodes new jobs in a concern. Standardization, the process of determining the salary differentials for different jobs become standardized through job evaluation. Now let us see objectives of job evaluation. The major objectives of the job evaluation are number one, to determine worth of job in relation to other job of the organization, to help in deriving a definite plan for wage administration, to facilitate for comparison and survey, and to help in solving wage controversies, to eliminate of personal prejudices. And the sixth objective is to help in proper placement of workers in job. Now let us look into another interesting area of job evaluation, that is the process of job evaluation. Job evaluation procedures can vary from organization to organization. However, with the appropriate organization specific modifications, the subsequent process can be accepted in any type of organization. The steps in a job evaluation process are identification of jobs to be evaluated, gathering relevant information about the jobs, determination of job ranking, selection of benchmark jobs, wage and salary surveys and periodic review and feedback. The first step in the process of job evaluation is identification of jobs to be evaluated. The selection of the jobs to be included in the evaluation process is the first stage in a job evaluation process. A company typically finds it challenging to analyze every position inside the company. Therefore, it selects a small number of important jobs that can serve as a representative sample of a larger group of comparable employment for the purpose of job evaluation. The decision of the criteria to be reviewed in a job comes after the jobs have been identified for evaluation. Factors like physical and mental execution, focus, leadership and communication abilities, education and experience, job complexity and pressure and so forth. The second step is gathering relevant information. The gathering of relevant data regarding the job being evaluated is the next step in the job evaluation process. In addition to the job description statement, the evaluators may use data collection methods like interviews, questionnaires and observation for this purpose. At this stage, the evaluator should completely satisfy himself about the adequacy of information available for accessing the worth of the job. The third step is determination of job ranking. After analyzing all the information relating to the job, the evaluation assesses the extent of the presence of the chosen factors in the job based on the result of such an assessment. 
the evaluator determines the, the ratings for each job. Similar factors are assessed in an evaluation process. The ratings reflect the relative worth of a job in comparison to the other jobs in the organization. The fourth step is selection of benchmark jobs. The establishment of pay grades for each category of occupations is the major goal of job evaluation. An organization must be aware of what other business are paying for positions identical to their own in this record. Nevertheless, a company might not be able to determine the comparative pay scale of every position within the company. Because of this, the evaluation may pick a few positions that are often present in every business and have a similar nature. These positions which are frequently referred to as benchmark positions are used to establish the pay scales for all other positions within the company. The fifth stage is wage and salary surveys. At this stage, an organization surveys the pay ranges for the benchmark positions at company businesses in the sector. An organization may conduct salary surveys in a formal or informal manner. Similar to this, an organization can use public reports from reputable agencies or journals or undertake a direct survey to get pertinent information. The monetary value of each employment is established using such survey. For conducting pay survey, many organizations frequently employ unofficial sources including the phone, the newspapers and the internet. And the last step is periodic review and feedback. The organization is continuously impacted by changes in the external world which also change the internal factors. For instance, technological advancements have a significant impact on the nature and requirements of jobs. As a result, organizations are compelled to periodically examine the occupations to assess their value in the environment, to continuously enhance the job evaluation process, feedback regarding various areas of job evaluation should be gathered from various stakeholders such as job holders, supervisors, managers and the unions. The next part of the topic is method of job evaluation. The method of job evaluation, job evaluation offers a scientific basis for identifying a position's responsibility and the related right structure or compensation. The major type of job evaluation are analytical schemes and non-analytical schemes. In analytical schemes, there are two kinds of methods, points factor rating and factor comparison. Points factor rating, an analytical method of work appraisal known as points factor rating is based on decomposing occupations into factors or important features. Each of these elements is expected to affect job size and constitute a component of all the jobs to be evaluated. Points are assigned to a task under each factor headings using numerical scales based on how much of that factor is actually present in the job. The individual factor scores are then summed to produce a fin final number that measures work size. Following is a description of the point factor systems methodologically factor selection, factor plan design and job or role analysis. Factor comparison. The first iteration of the now rarely used factor comparison approach compared occupations factor by factor using a scale of monetary values to give a clear picture of the right of for the task. Graduated factor, comparison and analytical factor, comparison are the two types of factor, comparison currently in use. Let us see non-analytical scheme of job evaluation. 
different type of job evaluation under the non analytical schemes are job ranking paired comparison ranking and job classification job ranking comparing entire occupations to one another and placing them in order of their importance to the organization or size is the process of ranking because they organize job into hierarchy appraisal process or all in a sense ranking exercise job ranking is distinct from analytical approaches like points factor rating in that it does not make an effort to quantify judgments instead and their occupations are compared they are not divided into components or aspects however the comparison may be expressingly or implicitly based on a generalized idea such as degree of responsibility next is paired comparison ranking another strategy is known as paired comparison ranking is utilized to provide a more advanced method of whole job ranking it is predicated on the idea that comparing one work to another is always simpler than taking into account a variety of jobs and attempting to establish a rank order through several comparisons according to this method every job must be individually compared to every other job the scores are added for each job and a rank order is obtained job classification the method of classifying a task entails comparing the entire job into a scales that takes the shape of a hierarchy of grade definitions it is founded on a preliminary categorization of the quantity and makeup of grades into which jobs will be distributed the definitions of the grades may make reference to duties like responsibility judgment and skill it is acceptable to utilize job descriptions that include the presence of those traits but the traits are not evaluated independently when comparing the description to the grade definition another important aspect of job evaluation is its criteria the various criteria take into account the knowledge and experience required for the competent performance the demands made of the individual the overall structure and the degree of accountability and responsibility the total number of points for the job is determined by adding the points rating of each factor the criteria for job evaluation are education the level of formal education necessary to carry out job related duties since education and experience frequently overlap it is frequently advisable to take into account the amount of education that would be anticipated of a new incumbent head from the outside next is experience the length of practical experience and nature of technical or managerial familiarity is required this experience is an addition to formal education the another criteria is complexity measured in terms of the time taken to learn and adjust to specific job requirements the level to which job functions are defined and follow established and predictable patterns the thinking challenge required to adapt to rapidly changing circumstances and innovative or conceptual thinking need to initiate new corporate direction another criteria is scope of work the managerial breadth or scope of the position the complexity and the scope of work factors tend to be related to the education and experience level required for a position another criteria for job evaluation is interpersonal skills the level of interpersonal skills required for dealing with employees within the organization as well as external clients or customers and or the public in general another criteria we can say problem solving the nature and the complexity of problem solving expected of the job holder judgment exercised availability of rules and guidelines to assist in problem solving 
the degree of analysis and research required to arrive at a solution are all considered. Freedom to act is another criteria for job evaluation. The extent of supervision, direction or guidance imposed on the job holder and the freedom the incumbent has to take action. Impact result of decisions. The level of decisions making taken solely by the job holder and the risk or degree of damage which may result if wrong decision is taken. Another job evaluation criteria is authorities. The formal authority levels exercised in the position including financial, staffing and contractual authorities. This includes routine and capital expenditure, the authority to employ and dismiss staff and also the authority to enter into the contract on behalf of the organization. Next is people management. The responsibility for managing and leading a project team as well as direct supervision of employees inside an organization. Make sure that internal consistency is not jeopardized by checking. An assessment of the work completed serve as the main criterion for deciding the compensation. Based on CATR 6 including knowledge, problem solving, skills, accountability, education, experience, task difficulty, job scope, supervision received and authority exerted. A work's internal value is assessed. Dear students, to sum up, one can say that job evaluation helps organizations ensure employees fair, equitable and consistent pay structure and to determine worth of job in relation to other jobs. While performing job evaluation, keep in mind the basic features and the criteria of job evaluation. There are many types and methods available according to the requirements of the institution and the organization you are in. One can move forward. It is essential to perform job evaluation only then you will be in a position to maintain standards and universality which is not only helpful for the individual to work effectively and efficiently but for the overall performance of the institution as well. Job evaluation is basically about jobs rather than people maintaining its process. No doubt this process establishes a job's worth in comparison to other positions held inside the organizations. Thank you. Thank you very much.